Can you there hear me? Go. Can you hear Hibernian Hippo? Hibernian Hippo says hello. He doesn't say hello. He says, I'll see you in your nightmares. No, actually, technically, Hibernian Hippo would probably say, like, top of the morning. And, or how she cutting. And I'll see you in your nightmares. No, Hibernian Hippo is not scary. Hibernian Hippo is sweet and loving and wants to give hugs. The fuck you say? You want a scary one? No! We can bring back Stare Into Your Soul Hippo. Or your favorite, the Mippo. If you want scary, we can do scary. I brought nice, sweet Hibernian Hippo. Okay. So we're back for the nonsense again, and uh, got a little of a, a nonsense potpourri this week. I, I don't know. I, I, that's the it, It's a nonsense potpourri. Sort of a smorgasbord. Smorgasbord. Oh, it's nonsense. It's a buffet, except there's no chocolate fountain in, can, in cotton candy. There should always be a chocolate fountain in cotton candy. Not with some of these, you don't want them. Oh, God, especially the first one. I don't, I don't know. That might make it better. How many of our stories would honestly be improved with the involvement of a chocolate fountain? Almost all of the naked car chases would definitely be improved by a chocolate fountain. Each week, Catherine goes out on the worldwide interwebs, finds all sorts of horrible stuff, brings it back here, a little segment we like to call. What the fuck is wrong with you? I don't think you're going to, to be whistling that tune very much longer, actually, once we get to our first story here. Um, yeah, I, I've got no lead in for this. I've got no setup for this because... Everyone involved here should be ashamed. Um, I'll give you your link. Uh, deputies, man claims to be with TV show sucks toe in Walmart. Woman says a man claiming to be with a TV show sucked her toe side of an East Georgia Walmart after claiming everything she purchased that day would be free if she complied with this unusual request. The Augusta Chronicle reports the woman called Sheriff's deputies Tuesday to describe the bizarre encounter. Sheriff's report said the man asked the 18-year-old if her toenails were painted, whether she watched America's Funny Stone videos, and said he was with the show. Is that show even on anymore? Not on TV. Authorities say he asked if he could kiss her foot as part of the prank and then started sucking on her big toe. The woman said she screamed. The man said it, quote, tasted so good, though, and ran from the Walmart. Okay, a few things. Uh, One, just a few. That show's not on the air anymore. Two. All right, apparently it is still on the air. So fine, whatever. Two, as far as I'm aware, unless they've really changed the format of the show since I used to watch it, it's not like, it's not pumped. Like, they don't set no. shit up. Like, no. people send them videos. Not. So, it's not like yeah. a camera crew is going to come up to you to contrive a Funniest Home video. This, okay, why I'm ashamed of everyone involved here. Number one, this guy has got his foot thing. That's okay. You get your willing partners, consenting adults, everybody. The, that's okay. There's nothing wrong with it. Beautiful thing. Yada, sure. yada, et cetera, et cetera. You know what? If you've got a willing partner, you suck on whatever you want. I'm not going to judge you. That's what? great. Have fun. There's nothing sexy in the Walmart. No. Nothing sexy in the Walmart. There's no sex in the champagne room, no. and there's nothing no, sexy no. in the Walmart. And willing partner, really important. Really. But, okay, th th there is the willing partner. Instead of using the vast resources that are the internet, where if you want to put something you have in, on, or around something someone else has, you can. Instead of uh, using this, no, no, 
He just takes a short drive down to the local Walmart. He schemed this plan up. That's on the one side. On the other... Yeah, like, that's the sad part is, he spent time thinking this up. And the best plan he could come up with was to claim to be from America's Home Videos, a show that is apparently only on the air in syndication, at the Walmart. You have to wonder how many times he tried this before he found someone who was willing to... How many Walmarts he got through out, thrown out of? Because he probably went... There's like two or three in like a, in a radius of each other. But the other side of this, this girl, 18 years old, i.e. old enough to know better, honey, don't let a strange man put his mouth on your foot. Don't let a strange man put his mouth on your anything at the Walmart. Yeah, I mean, it's... When strange men approach you at Walmart and ask to put their mouth on any part of you, the answer is no. The answer is always no. Sex ed got fucking weird since when we were in high school, didn't I know, you? right? It used to be so simple. They Don't put get the, the clap. Don't get knocked up. They put the now, condom on the banana. They're all done, you know. It's, it's really gotten so complicated. I know. Okay. Um, next- and I want to know why these guys never meet the guys that are jacking off in the Transformers aisle at the Walmart. Like, why don't these people find each other? Doesn't it seem like they should? <laughs> they should have a club. Maybe we should have, like, maybe we should contact the Walton family and ask them to just set up one specialized Walmart. The pervert this isn't Walmart. Like, this isn't like a put them all on an island thing. I'm, I'm trying to, like, help here. <laughs> maybe have one specific Walmart that's, like, for all the fucking weird, crazy, kinky people who get off on shit at the Walmart. So that they can have their Walmart and have their crazy, kinky fun at the Walmart, and everybody else can just buy cheap toilet paper in peace yeah there's there's and actually we should put it in florida there's not a that's next to a kitten strip club bizarrely not that horrible an idea and i hate that so okay. everybody wins what is it you've said to us about those guys who have those swords on their walls uh those <sighs> I don't know. I'm you trying to know? that they're not. You're not supposed to really use them. They're for decoration only. Mm-hmm. Well, you say that. Sailor yes. man arrested. I stand by it. Sailor man arrested for swinging samurai sword yeah. near the Capitol building. Oh. Oregon State Police arrested 28 year. 28-year-old Theodore G. Sanarov of of Salem on Saturday after he was spotted swinging a three-foot samurai sword and swearing at state park employees near the state capitol building. Sanarov was reportedly yelling obscenities at a landscaper. Okay, I gotta stop there. Yelling obscenities at a landscaper. Maybe he thought he could do a better job cutting the grass with his samurai sword. (laughs) Which he was wielding in public like a fucking moron. No. No. You are not Tom Cruise in The Last Samurai. You are not the one white samurai, because I'm assuming he's white, because that is such a white dude thing to do. You're not even a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle! No, no, honey, no. You leave that shit on your wall and, I don't know, try and impress girls with it or something. Whatever it is that you do. I, Yelling You obs- don't bring it on public and harass four innocent landscapers trying to do their job in 95 degree heat. Yelling obscenities at a landscaper. I think that's the most eloquent way of saying he told the guy to go eat a dick. A lot. Well, you don't know what he said. That's what you would say if that is. Like, started waving a sword around in public. But we that might One not day. be his sort of choice. Uh, I'm saving that for retirement. That that that's that's what I'm gonna do. You know, get a little house, a little it's bit nice of money have, set aside. It's nice to have a goal. You can't be a hooker forever. You gotta have a goal. 
get 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 myself my own samurai sword and, and I'm sure Hope really looks forward to, you know, having to wrangle you and explain your actions to the police on a weekly basis. It's, you know, living the dream. If he stop yelling fuck on the internet, he just doesn't know what to do with himself. Of all the places to do this shit. And state happen? building. Yeah. yeah. There's probably going to be authority figures there. They're not going to play. They, yeah. they have no reason to play. Play will yeah. not be had. In the age of terrorism, your bladed weapon does not belong anywhere near the government. And they're not going to go for the stun guns. They're going to go for the gun guns. The ones that don't just make you maybe dead. The ones that make you really dead. Center mass, bitches. The gun gun. I, I, I think I've coined a phrase there. God help us. Yeah, and somebody already turned it into a Star Wars word. Uh, so. Would not be our show without this kind of story. Naked people. Meet stuff, stuff down the pants, people. Meets the Blues Brothers. You remember this scene? Do you remember that scene in the mall? I've actually never seen that movie all the way through, which should surprise nobody. <laughs> there are an awful lot of like compulsory films that I've never seen. It should surprise nobody. Haven't seen the Goonies, haven't seen the Godfather, have only seen the Star Wars special editions once each. Like, it's almost a hobby, me not seeing movies that everybody in the world has seen. So it should come as no shock to anybody that I have not seen the Blues Brothers all the way through. Well, I saw the part with Aretha Franklin, and that seemed fun. Well, everybody in the, in, the, uh, in the audience who has seen the Blues Brothers will understand what I'm talking about. Nude man crashes pickup into Dallas Mall. Police he really, really, really needed to buy pants, obviously. Dallas police identified Arthur Walker, 35, as the nude man who drove a pickup truck through the Southwest Center Mall. Police said he drove through the double doors straight into several kiosks. You know those little bastards? I'm actually not feeling too bad about this because I hate those little bastards. Who are running, you know, they always try and put shit out of my hair and take my nail polish off. And I'm like, you touch my fucking nail polish. You will lose that hand. It takes me a really long time to do this shit. I, I kind of want to do that. And you don't touch my hair. You touch my hair, you pull back a bloody stump, unless you have permission. He, uh, he drove through several kiosks, took a right, and drove straight through the pull-down gates of a champ sports store. He hit the door, backed up, came back again with full force... And that's what he came on in here, said Delicia Avery, who watched the parking lot as the man sped into the glass doors. I guess he was but just he was, like determined. The, oh, guess what? You were right. The man got out of the truck and started dressing himself in clothes from the store, putting on socks and brand new pair of Nike uh, Jordan sneakers. Notice how pants aren't in mentioned in there. But yeah. I would I would prioritize pants over sneakers personally, but maybe he was thinking he had to run faster. But then we get back to the flapping issue. <laughs> you run slower with your junk flapping around. I'm convinced of this. I mean, I don't have that kind of junk and I don't run around naked a lot. Sorry, Internet. But I am convinced that it fucks up your aerodynamics. Well, he wasn't running for part of that. Part of that, he was using the truck. Well, yes, but obviously once he got out of the truck, he was going to be running. I... This was a plan. Maybe he was really late for a nudist marathon. And forgot his running shoes and didn't want to miss it because it was for cancer kids and who wants to disappoint the cancer kids running naked for can where do why we... do you meet children with cancer nash where does this come from in your head what place where here because that where we got a guy driving a pickup through a mall and now you've got a nude marathon for cancer kids what the shit seems obvious to me that's what happened 
kids for the new marathon for cancer kids. Why do you hate cancer kids? Why do you like people running around with the flapping issue? It keeps me in an internet job. All right, let's see. Um, okay. I like, knowing it's a little crazy. I like knowing that there are a lot of people out there crazier than me. That gives me comfort and helps me sleep at night. This helps me sleep at night. Speaking of crazier than you. Police horses. I've, I've got no other lead into that. Police horses. You know what they're there for? They're there not because, you know, why are we using horses in the 20th century? Because horses actually intimidate crowds. Crowd is less likely to attack an officer if he's on a horse than if he's in a car or on foot. The horses are intimidating, so that's why they use them. Except when it doesn't work. Woman intervenes in traffic stop, assaults Omaha police horse. Oh! I am not okay with people assaulting animals. Now the first the horse out of it. The first thing I'm thinking of is Blazing Saddles and Mongo just walking up and clocking the fucking horse. That's the first thing that pox. You haven't seen Blazing Saddles, have you? No, yeah. I went to Far and Away. Tom Cruise is a really bad brogue, punching a horse in the face. Like, Tom Cruise is tall enough to punch a horse. It was worse than the brogue. Three police officers and a horse were needed to take a 20-year-old Omaha woman into custody early Sunday in the Old Market after she intervened at a traffic stop. A uh, police spokesman said the three officers also sustained minor inju injuries, including scratches, cuts, and bite marks. The woman was booked into jail for resisting arrest, three counts of assaulting an officer, and one count of assaulting a police service animal. So she didn't have shit to do with this. She was not involved in this traffic stop. She just took it upon herself to insert herself into the situation. And, and start kicking the shit out of everybody. And fight a horse. Including a horse who ain't done nothing to nobody. Oh, the horse's name is Gunny. Poor Gunny. He's like, what the? This isn't how it. What's wrong with you? Get away from me. Leave me alone. I poop in a diaper. Leave me alone. No, I've done enough parades to know that they do not make police horses poop in diapers. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. The carriage horses. It's, do. it's a really. It takes a special level of talent to twirl a baton while. Dodging large piles of horse in the street. Just so you know. Carriage horses have the have the diapers, but yeah. So, so I just Yeah, not police horses. Police horses get the privilege of shitting wherever they want. I think this is the, the quintessential definition of having a wild hair up your butt. This lady sucks rocks. Who punches a horse? Who punches a fucking police horse? That horse didn't do anything to you. That horse didn't pull over the car. Or whatever the fuck you're so bent out of shape about. That horse got up, ate his oats from his food bag, got a saddle put on him, and got some fucking cops strapped to his back. He didn't get a say in it. He didn't get to vote. He didn't apply for that job. He's just a horse doing his job. Leave him alone. I don't like people who hurt animals. They make me angry. Yeah, just And beyond that, one count of assaulting a police service animal. This happens... Often enough that it's on the books as a crime. Well, I don't think it's that it happens. It's that if you're going to have police service animals, their common sense would dictate that if somebody hurts them, they should have charges. I, I do find it funny you went all, you know, on the animal farm side of things, standing up for horses' rights and shit. Horses. Well, if somebody punched a pig, I'd be pissed about that too. It's not political. Oh, okay. Don't make it thing. This is the one you sent me. Oh, yeah. This is from my back, literally my backyard, like half a mile from where I live. Half a and mile. And I'm really proud of that right now. Yeah. Yeah. This, there are levels to trashing it. There is everything 
from, you know, uh, just a uh, car on your front lawn and the cinder blocks all the way to pink flamingos. And I'm not talking about the kind you put on your lawn. Google that shit. John Waters, you don't want to go there. Levels of trashiness. I have pink flamingo pajamas. This one kind of pegs the scale, I think. Um, pregnant woman tries to run boyfriend off the road. Because? Tried to run it off the road after he informed her she had had one too many drinks. Isabel Ortega of Lake Avenue faces a range of charges, including second-degree reckless endangerment, breach of the peace, interfering with the duties of a police officer. She was arrested on her 30th birthday. Uh, Ortega and her boyfriend, the father of her unborn child, got into a shouting match after he took away the beer she was drinking. Um, We do it fucking classy here in Danbury. Ortega, who is five months pregnant, became irate, after several minutes of arguing, her boyfriend reportedly stormed out of the home, took off in the direction of Main Street. Ortega followed in her Lexus sport utility vehicle, ramming his truck several times. And that's the part of the story where I got angry. Because I, I drive a 2002 Buick that's a hand-me-down from my aunt. <laughs> this bitch, who tried to run over her boyfriend while five months pregnant and full of beer, drives a goddamn Lexus. No justice in the world. No justice in the world. So it's, This bitch drives a Lexus. That's so, where I got angry. So it's not the getting drunk while pregnant. It's not the dr- driving recklessly while pregnant. It's the fact that she owns a Lexus. It's the fact that a dumb piece of shit like that can afford a Lexus, and I can't pay my bills. That shit ain't right. Oh... No justice in the world, I suppose. Mm-mm. <laughs> also goes up to show you money don't buy class. How in the go- great good god damn did this lady? I, I don't. And know I want to know what the fuck is with this boyfriend that, uh, like, oh, now you've had one too many. Now that you're totally fucking ripped, five months pregnant. I'm, I'm you know not... how many is one too many? Like, two. Because, yeah, like, one beer is not going to kill your baby. I get that. Like, but maybe you don't get drunk while you're pregnant. Just saying. Did, did, I, did they miss the past few decades where all we got talked about, all they talked about to us was, don't drink while you're pregnant, you stupid person. Don't do that. Why would you do? Don't do it. If you want to have the kid, don't drink while you're... Why are you... Whole few. Like, if you past- don't want your child to look like Derek Jeter, oh, oh, oh. Derek Jeter looks like an alien with fetal alcohol syndrome, and That's- I'm not just saying that because he's a Yankee and thereby obviously a douchebag. I'm saying that because he uh-huh. looks like an alien with fetal alcohol syndrome. But I've gone off on a tangent. Had to get you digging there. Uh, yes. uh, all right, the last one tonight. This happens way more often than it fucking should. And I'm not talking about naked crazy. I'm not talking about putting things in their pants. I'm not talking about bath salts. Which all happen way more than they should. But this... How many times have we covered this? Stepfather's gift not universally appreciated. Neighbors and police in the city of Wyoming were not laughing after someone carved an old tree... Into the shape of a penis. And I will bring up the screen here so you can see the blurred out penis tree. It is quite generous, I should say. Stood on the yard uh, until neighbors complained the police showed up. Homeowner Mariah Cord said she got the carved wood. Really? Really? From her stepfather. As a sort of, as a sort of housewarming gift. When she bought the place. After police started asking questions, the carving was removed. Because I always, you know, when dealing with parental figures, 
I always find it really, really appropriate and not at all creepy when they buy me giant phalluses for my home. Especially the stepfather part. Yeah, like my mom's husband, I would find it totally cool and not at all creepy or disgusting if he bought me a giant fucking cock to put on my front lawn. No, I, I think he just sort of left it there from what I'm gathering. Yeah, that's not that's not creepy at all. Happy housewarming, honey. Here's a penis. Bye. But yeah, we had the penis that was launched. Notice and to mom, if your daughter is not already fucking your husband, he would really like her to be. And he wants the whole neighborhood to know it. Just saying. Maybe this was sort of like a rain dance for sex or something. I don't know. Put a giant dick on the lawn. Hopefully sex would happen. I don't know. All out of the sky. So we had, yeah, I did. Dick. Gorgeous big titty woman just don't fall out of the sky, you know? Oh, you seen that one? I've seen Dogma, yes. Um, so, we had the one where they the guy made it for art and blew it up. Had the one a long time back where a furniture company had it out front and they made him take it down. What's with the giant Cox guys? Really? You have to ask that question? I think it's pretty obvious what's with the giant cock. Don't you just, don't people just get sports cars anymore? No, we, we, as a, we as a society are not able to pick up on that kind of subtlety anymore. <laughs> it used to be nice car, sorry about your dick. Now, they're just Now saying, it's nice giant dick, sorry about your dick. Yeah, just, just fuck it. We're just we have officially lost all comprehension for subtlety. And so we have to literally be. put giant cocks on our lawn. It was carved. That's the other thing. Yeah, that, that's... Do you think he made it himself? He sat up all the night long with a chisel Whittling a giant dick for Whittle his stepdaughter. <laughs> Whittling a giant dick. Wow. That is one hell of a hobby. Is that well, like... Oh, it you, could be one hell of a euphemism. Oh, twitch your video. It got locked up. Oh, oh, oh. Like, depending on the kind of porn you watch, it could totally be, you know... <laughs> Whittling a giant a dick. So, yeah. Do, do you start off sculpting that ice? That sounds like the name of really, really trashy porno, actually. Like, total, like, redneck porn. That do, sounds like the name of an awesome redneck porn. Do you start off carving ice sticks and move your way up to wood and then maybe granite, or...? I think you start with soap, actually. Soap dicks, okay. And yeah. you try really hard not to drop it. <laughs> Did I tell you about the porn parody I, I might be writing? My friend, one of my friends suggested this to me. She said that I should write a book called Fifty Shades of Green. That's a porn parody. Well, not really porn, I guess, softcore, but like an Irish Fifty Shades of Grey. So I'm totally going to do this book about this like really innocent chick who meets a like really kinky leprechaun. Who, you know, makes all her wishes come true and spanks her with his shillelagh and, you know, it's going to be good times. I bet it's going to be a fucking bestseller. Yeah, someone buy that shit. So many people would buy that shit. So, what did we learn tonight? Tell your friends. Um, we learned that if you really, really have a particular fetish... Go to the internet, not the Walmart. I mean, they do say you can get everything at the Walmart. Not that. But not that. Not, no. Not, not, not until idiocracy, anyway. Um, but yeah, don't, don't. And even, even then, in, in, the, in the era of idiocracy, going to the Walmart for that sort of service is still the down rent version of that sort of service. I feel like either way, it ends with Ow My Balls. <laughs> yeah. Um, we learned that if you have a, a samurai sword, a katana, good for you, leave, leave it, it at home. home. Leave that shit at home. Those are sharp. You could hurt yourself. And it'll be easier for you to hurt yourself than normal people because you're obviously a fucking moron because you brought it to the state capitol. You're ever so slightly out of sync, which is makes the, the get the fuck out face even funnier. Yeah, I don't know what's up with my video today.
And now you're back in sync. What the hell? Fuck you, Skype. We're going to have to figure out how to do Google Hangouts because Skype. Google Hangout hates me. Google Hangouts. I have a Mac, and Google and Mac have like a gang war going on. So if I start, start a Google Hangout, like my computer starts snapping really menacingly, and it just it doesn't end well. We'll think of something. Um, we've learned that if you need but to you hate cancer kids. You need clothes. You kind of have to bring clothes. Even if, you know, even if it's laundry day and you have to wear that old awful tie-dye thing with the sweatpants, still wear them to get the new clothes. Yes. Even if, don't, don't just go, you know what, these suck. And park lots are your friends. Mm. They can be annoying. I know they can. I work in a mall. I know the hell that can be a mall parking lot, but that doesn't give you leave to skip it altogether. You really have to use it. Although I, I, I it is kind of awesome the whole bit with the kiosk because fuck those kiosks, really. Yeah, those people are annoying. But you know they don't deserve to get run over. Like I don't wish them ill. I just wish them a better job where they don't have to annoy people for a living. That's all. They shouldn't have to get run over by a crazy person in a pickup truck. Nobody deserves that. They shouldn't have to, but... No, oh, there's no justice in the world. Ah, uh, we learned! The channel's really excited to learn that I apparently am writing porn. Yeah, so. you shouldn't have done that. You, you it's the leprechauns! Who? What? Well, alright, we've got some teddy bear fuckers, so I am not surprised that our audience would be turned on by that, but I'm a little disappointed in all of you. We learned that if it's not your business, don't make it your business, and... Don't punch horses. Don't punch a fucking... Oh, and also we learned you've never seen Blues Brothers. Ooh! You know what? Sorry. You know what? Just Sorry. for that, you know what else we learned? Uh, uh, I'm a happy hippo. Uh. <laughs> you one disembodied orgasm hippo worth it um we've learned that not drinking during pregnancy is not a suggestion yeah also not trying to run over the father of your unborn child not a suggestion and strangely enough your baby gonna need a daddy when you're in jail and strangely enough even in this economy Awful drug pregnant woman can get a Lexus. Who the Bitch. fuck knew? And finally, we learned that. I'm what? I'm not bitter. And finally, we learned that sports cars are out. Giant hand carved. <laughs> so, <laughs> subtlety, subtlety is so last season. I'm still stuck at dick whittling. That's just a great phrase. It rolls off the tongue, so to speak. Dick whittling. Yeah. I want to use that in everyday language, and I can't. Well, you always like to say things like, you know, Jesus tap dancing Christ, or, you know, you can say Jesus dick whittling Christ. <laughs> yes! <laughs>